Hello, my name is Alex Dye. I'm the Media and Communications Coordinator for the Virginia Beach Cultural Affairs Department. And I am here with the brand new executive director of the recently reopened Virginia Beach Art Center, home of the Artist Gallery. So welcome, Margaret. She'll be taking me on a tour, and then I'll have the opportunity to ask her some questions. Hi, thank you so much for joining us today at the Virginia Beach Art Center. Um, yeah, it's true, we have recently reopened. And this is my first ever interview in a mask, so this is a whole new experience for me. <laughs> so, but I thought it would be fun to show you some of the safety precautions that we're taking here at the Artist Gallery as we reopen. So um, let's go for a little walk so you can see what's going on um, here. What is um, something that is very important to what we do here are our monthly exhibitions. and. Um, over the past two months, we've um, taken those exhibitions online, and this is the first time in almost three months, I think, that we're able to change out the gallery. And so if you just pan your camera that way, you'll see we are under renovation, which is super exciting. We are taking down the last exhibition, which was La Femme, and we are hanging up the exhibition um, that's coming up on beginning June 5th called Following the Light. And so soon, probably within about eh, a couple few days, this will be transformed yes. into a really gorgeous, welcoming environment, showing you um, the pieces that were entered for our Following the Light exhibition. So this is our gallery up front, and we'll just take a little bit of a walk. On these walls here, we have exhibiting artists who um, hang their pieces, and people can come in and make purchases. They're gorgeous pieces you can see we've got multi-mediums including jewelry pottery sculpture um, and as you come along you'll see little pockets here where our resident artists are working and actually in action right now is Constance Fahey and what's so special about Constance Fahey is that she is the founding member of the artist gallery almost 30 years ago Connie, <laughs> so, um, she's here working on this gorgeous piece, um, and so we've got a number of resident artists that um, come in and work their magic. I'm also the director of the artist gallery, and uh, my favorite thing to do is paint seascapes, and this is for an upcoming show uh, called The Sea of Change. And I yes. love this. We're challenged every month by a different theme. So yes, uh, this is my home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, yeah. Constance. We appreciate it. Yeah. And so we'll just kind of keep cutting on down. Um, we have a number of resident artists that um, participate here with the artist gallery. Um, and you can see where they are actually in the um, inside the cubicle area. Those are the resident artists, and again, the ex exhibiting artists are along the walls. Truly amazing pieces. Now, we just only moved into this building about a year ago. We used to be over off of Norfolk Avenue, um, and so we're super excited about this space. <laughs> As you can see, you can see lots of different um, areas to hang gorgeous work. Just head on down this way a little bit further. <laughs> Come right behind you. Okay. <laughs> Here's just a little work area where um, we have got um, artists, art instructors who come in and teach um, various um, mediums of art. Um, this is the um, Jean Rawls classroom. Um, Jean was a volunteer with us for years and unfortunately recently passed, but she was she made such an impact on this organization and so this is where our artists come in um, to do their um, work and instruct people on how to do different things and i just wanted to peek in no one's in here right now but i wanted to show everybody our pottery um, so if you come in here this is the bailey ceramic studio huge space um, so hello how are you <laughs> Um, great big space, and you can see we've taken lots of different precautions in here, which I can reference when we're um, in the other area, but you can see these partitions were put up between the pottery wheels. 
Um, we are limiting capacity in here. We're making sure there's good airflow in here and sanitizer <laughs> the whole nine. Grab my bag. <laughs> oh, that's and we walk them by our pottery. <laughs> So that's in short our Virginia Beach Art Center. Um, and we can just come up here and if you have any questions, we would love to answer any questions that you have. You can also notice that we had to put tape down on the floors, which is a little, little different for us, but um, just trying to help people maintain a social distance while we're in this phase one of reopening. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the question area. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am all set. All right. So my first question is, um, you came into this role on March 17th, yes. which was um, a very interesting time, to say the <laughs> least. So um, first of all, what led you to the position? And um, what is it that drew you here? Okay. So... Um, yeah, it was interesting timing. I started my position here on March 17th and two days later everything shut down throughout the nation essentially. Um, so it has been a very interesting onboarding process. I have been in the nonprofit sector my whole entire career. Um, from After graduating college I moved back to Virginia Beach and started my work um, with a non local nonprofit called United Way Southampton Roads. Um, worked there for probably around 16 to 17 years and then um, began a family, then took a couple of um, smaller positions in terms of like my time, the length of time worked um, at a couple of other nonprofits, helping them upstart a couple of their development efforts. And then um, just recently started thinking, oh, maybe I'm ready to go back to work. <laughs> my kids are growing up a little bit and decided to, saw, quite randomly, um, saw this as I, um, possibility and came in to interview and I just it was such a warm and welcoming environment um, that I just couldn't pass it up the people here are phenomenal sometimes people will think of an art gallery very cold very stiff this is not that art gallery it's a very welcoming art gallery um, the resident artists that I showed you along the way they're always willing to sit back and chat about their process um, their goals it's there it's just a lovely environment you know, it's it's been such an interesting time since you've started, you know, with everything, um, with the pandemic. Yes. Um, so what has it been like, you know, coming into this position while also having to adjust with everybody else to this? Yeah, so it, it has been very weird and I can almost stage it out a little bit. Um, in the very beginning, I was able to come in for the first few days and begin the onboarding process. But then of course, like everybody else, we had to rely on Zoom. <laughs> So, so much has been done via Zoom, and this organization really looked at this as an opportunity to capitalize on changing the way we do business a little bit, as well as creating some different structures um, that maybe weren't there before. So we were able to shift, because we're a visual arts organization, we were able to shift a lot of what we do to online. Um, so our website, which is um, artcentervb.com or .org, um, is uh, a great place, a great landing place. So you can see, you can see the art that's for sale. You can look at art demonstrations, and most recently, um, we added a component of being able to take online classes. Um, so we were able to make that kind of shift over. Um, while it has been very, it's been crazy because we've been onboarding, you know, this my position as well as um, shifting everything online <laughs> and then really trying to look at what are the frameworks and structures we have in place and where can we make improvements. So it actually has been a very busy couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> I do not doubt that in the slightest. So, you know, as we get closer to more and more um, organizations, businesses reopening, how do you think you can still incorporate some of that virtual um, content along with the in-person? Yeah, I think that, um, and I, I don't know that we're going to be alone on this. I think a lot of people are going to have made, had been forced to make changes, and now we're going to continue some of those changes, especially as we work through the different phases of the reopening of Virginia. Um, we have got a population here that could potentially fall into that vulnerable population. So we don't want them to miss out on any experiences. 
So while you, we are more than happy to have people come into the art gallery, we do have a few precautions that we're taking. Uh, we also want to have the availability and the opportunity for people to enjoy things that we're doing here online as well. So uh, speaking about those precautions, so now that you've reopened, I think it was May 15th, correct, yes. that you reopened? Mm -hmm. So what are some of the precautions that you put in place um, you know, to ensure the safety of um, everybody who's in here? Thank you so much. For, that's actually um, priority number one. We are following the mandates of the CDC and our um, Virginia Governor Northam. Um, we are doing... As you can see, face masks, we're all learning this new world of face masks. <laughs> Everybody entering the building is required to wear a face mask, including our resident artists. We are practicing social distancing, um, the six feet piece. We've, you saw some of the arrows on the ground, and um, if we were having some individuals in, we're planning on spacing them out as well. We're also limiting the capacity, so the number of people we're allowing in is limited. So our front door isn't necessarily always unlocked, but we have a doorbell, ring, come on in, we want to see you. Um, it's just a number of keeping count of individuals and um, lots of disinfecting. Holy moly, are we cleaning and keeping track of all of our cleaning? <laughs> so lots of cleaning. Um, and then lastly, I would reference our airflow. We're making sure that um, we have a good flow of air going continuously which is something I never knew about until about two weeks ago. It's amazing the things we're learning these days. <laughs> well, so those are some of the precautions. <laughs> so now, you know, um, since you've had, you know, of course you have events, so what are your plans going forward for events to make them safe, um, limiting capacity, social distancing, yeah. all of that? Thank you for asking. The um, main event that we have um, that's an ongoing event, it's a monthly um, exhibition. So. Every month, we challenge local artists to submit artwork ar around a theme. Um, and in that theme, um, they come in, they drop their artwork off, and once everything is hung in the main gallery, we do an opening reception where we announce we have a judge who comes in, rotating judges who come in, and they judge the work, and then we uh, have this reception where we congratulate and announce the winners of, those res um, of the, that specific exhibition. We were able to shift that completely online for the um, March and April exhibition, and May too, I think. Actually, yeah, so all three. Um, and then what we're planning to do for our June exhibition is a little bit of a hybrid. So we're gonna host everything online. So of course, to, you know, safer at home, please feel free to you know, join us via our Facebook Live at 7 p.m. on June 5th. Um, or we're also going to do a little fun strat thing. We thought we would try a little auction of um, six golden tickets, we're calling it. So we'll have, you know, six chairs socially distanced, <laughs> masks on, and we're going to do the Facebook Live opening here at the gallery, which we're so excited just, just to hang the um, June exhibition. So uh, people can feel free. Well, they may not be able to, because we're only doing six, tic six tickets at the um, June exhibition reception on June 5th, those pieces will be hung throughout the month of June. So please feel free to come on in, check it out. It's called Following the Light. Um, gorgeous pieces have been submitted and we're just so excited to see some changing pieces and be able to share with Virginia Beach some of the local artwork. I'll give us a little plug in there too on June 5th because we have our own exhibition with artist uh, Glenn McClure and his awesome. gallery at Sandler Center. We will be doing a virtual Facebook Live for that and that's at 4 p.m. so you Great. can go from one to the other there. We would love it. <laughs> we'll check you out. Come check us out. <laughs> so, you know, you mentioned classes. Um, so to, to somebody who hasn't been here before, what sort of classes could they take? So we've got lots of different types of classes. Um, some of which we have moved to the online platform. Um, we've done both classes as well as just demonstrations. Um, there have been um, painting, various types of painting classes. Um, we've also, um, there, we've got a, we're just now getting to the point where we're gonna invite our, um, the instru art instructors to come back for teaching. We're gonna limit the class numbers for now, so it's gonna be a smaller amount of people taking different types of medium in terms of like paint. Um, but then also we have that pottery that we went into. We also do various modes of pottery um, classes, and actually the pottery is back in pretty much full swing. Limited number of students, 
Um, but most of the instructors were able to come back and jump right back in where they left off. Um, so those are the two primary areas the classes are taking place. And then of course, I would also say to anybody who has interest is to just come on in and check it out. We've got great pieces hung. The resident artists are always here to chat. Um, and so it's a great place to come visit. Good, good source in our community. So, so my last question to you, um, since I see somebody popping in here, I see the Vibe District is right in watching. So awesome, welcome. What, <laughs> what's it like to be part of uh, this part of the city in the Vibe Creative District? It's amazing. I, uh, so because I am new to this position, I can only talk you know, so far as in terms of the Virginia Beach Art Center. But I've got to tell you, the people here are so kind, so welcoming. People are taking every precaution necessary. Businesses are open. It's so fun to see people back out and about. You know, I pulled up this morning and there was a full parking lot and I was thrilled. Um, so it's super exciting to see. We've got amazing food. We've got great breweries, distilleries. We've got restaurants. We've got all the fun stuff down here. I would highly suggest for anyone watching, come on down to the Vibe. We're having a good time and very safe, good time. <laughs> so before I let you go, um, do you wanna add anything else or you know, plug your website, social media, let people know? Yeah, sure, we've got Facebook. You can find us on Facebook. You can find um, at the Artist Gallery. Um, we, we are on Instagram. We, of course, you know, as we're seeing here, we're also on um, um, our website. I'm sorry, the Virginia Beach Art Center VB. Um, so please, you know, visit us, join us. We're constantly posting things, trying to keep it a little bit more omnipresence um, uh, online in terms of opportunities to explore your artistic side. <laughs> well, thank you, Margaret. Thank so you. uh, you've heard from Margaret Foltz, the executive director of the Virginia Beach Art Center, home of the Artist Gallery. Again, my name is Alex Dye with the Virginia Beach Cultural Affairs Department. So make sure if you get some time, stop by, whether it's uh, virtually or in person, the Artist Gallery is down here in the Vibe Creative District. So thank you all very much, and you all have a great day. Thank you.